belong to the Kent District WI and I belong to the Palmyra WI branch. And I made some of these flowers for the conference at Ridgetown in 2014. Um, the original one that I made was in 2011 and that is made out of magazine paper. Now the things that you need to make a paper flower is a cutter or scissors, depending on how many you're going to make. Um, tweezers are handy and a stylus can come in handy or a pen works well. Um, Two-way, double-way tape, a magazine. This was a freebie from Shoppers. So you just have to take a page Gift wrap paper works as well. You need a squared piece of paper. Um, can be the tiny ones. This is a one inch square, uh, one and a half, and one and three quarters, and then these are two inch squares. You can make them any size you want, as long as you stay to the same size. This is a three inch square, and I've added some extra florets to that to show you what you can do. So you take your paper and your cutter or your scissors, and you just have to get a straight edge. And then you just have to measure, I'm going to do two and a half inch squares. That is this size here. So you just have to cut your squares. Then you take those squares. And this is the part. I find if you have a colored piece of paper, it's easier to fold your squares on. So you take your square, you take it and fold it corner to corner and make a triangle. Now sometimes if you haven't just lined it up right, you'll have maybe a little piece showing on each end. Instead of trying to line it up perfect, you can just trim the so that it is square. Then you take the bottom of the triangle and bring it to the top tip and fold, press, do the other side, press. Then you take your paper, and this is where a, uh, a pen, or this is a stylus, comes in handy, and you press it down and make a kite shape for both sides. kind of line it up. Then you take and you press the top of the kite shape down and tuck it inside. Then you have to fold that kite shape in half towards the center. Do the other side towards the center. And this is where the two-way tape comes in handy because you need a piece you put on the edge of one of the inside flaps, pull that protective cover off, fold them over and bring them together and press it. That makes your little cone shape or your little florette. So there again, you're putting a piece of tape on the one edge. Take that protective cover off. If you have a little overlap, you just fold it in, press, put another piece along that edge. And then you take that one edge off and you line up your little cone shapes, put them together and press. 
You need five squares of paper to do a flower. that. Take that protective cover off. Press. Take this one off. Press. Okay, that's four. I need one more. last piece in. I'm ahead of myself. I need to take this one off. Press that in. Line up your points. Bring that in. And I take my tweezers and I just give it another little squeeze just to make sure that that tape is in there. And that's your flower. So then, to make your centerpiece here, you need six, six flowers. So I have six flowers here. And you need to take your tape, and you take a piece of tape, and you run it along the back rib of a flower. One rib on each flower. Then you take that tape off. The cover. You take your flower, take this point, and you match it up to that point. And you press. Then you take the tape off of this one. Take your next flower. Now it's best to take this tape, leave it to the outside, and the one beside it, press it again. So that you've got your flowers sticking together. So there again, this is taped. It goes to the inside. that one off. Got your tape. The one beside it you press to the other one. And that should come to this one right there. So you've got your five points there. Now to get the one inside you need another five pieces of tape. You take that tape and you put the tape on all five ribs. Or cones or flutes, whichever term you want to use is fine. You take the cover off of that one. You kind of slowly go in and you line up your points. Sometimes it's best if you pull that apart a little bit just to fit your points in so that they're in like that. Then you take your next florette, pull that tape off. Okay, all your points are pressed and taped down. And that's your half. So you fold triangle to triangle, or to make a triangle, corner to corner. Bring your edges up, open your flaps, press down, open your flaps, so you've got two kite shapes, fold that top down, tuck it in, tuck it in, fold it over to the center.
tape. It takes 30 pieces to make a half a centerpiece or to make a half a ball. Match your points up, match your top up. How do you know which petal to stick together? You uh, you take your one point and you go to the one beside it and then your next opening. So I taped that one. So my next one would be this one here. So I tape that one. My next flower would go there and you take the one next to it. Now you need this point and you're going to come down to those two outside ones and tape them together. So we're going to put these two together. So we're going to go the point in the middle, that it, the one that's not taped, we're going to tape it to the ones that is taped. This one that's not taped, attached to anything, we're going to attach it to one of those points that are taped. This one doesn't have tape on it. It's not attached to anything. So we're going to attach it to the two that are taped together. So we've got our points. All your little florets are attached together. So then you need a little piece of ribbon. Take a piece of tape. Put it, attach your ribbon to it halfway. Take that protective cover off. And put it. Attach it wherever you think you might like to have it attached to. And there is your flower wall. 